It's not often that you will get an artist duo such as Trope working in a parish church in rural Lincolnshire. So the, the novelty, if you like, of, of an event such as this happening piques the interest of, of the community. And then once they have the opportunity to come in and see it, and enjoy it and then tell their friends and tell their family and bring them in. It can actually cre create quite a lot of community cohesion because they're enjoying something together rather than as individuals. We were very happy to come back to Lincolnshire because about six months before we did another installation for the Frequency Festival, which was really well received and we really loved the place. So we're very happy to come back. Although it has a religious element and it does take place in a church, it's a completely very modern contemporary artwork in many ways, but it draws on, on ancient elements. hypnotic I thought quite quite mesmerizing in lots of ways I could watch that one yeah day. yeah so the one was uh, carried outside oneself for a few moments pretty cool yeah the dog loved it <laughs> yeah. and obviously at first you can't see a thing other than these lovely lights pearls dropping down and then you see these wonderful sort of fountains and you, you, you spot, spot the waters dripping and then you see the little uh, whirlpools where they land. It's almost trance-like. Codex means manual for life. It was our biggest descope installation so far. It involved audience interaction, crafted objects, and it was built at an enormous scale. Codex was one of the most challenging artworks we have made to date. We had to tap into a large number of skills, such as sculpting and moulding shells, arc welding metal frames because we had to find a way of creating a freestanding sculpture six meters high. Codex also involved musical composition, electronics for the interaction, projection mapping. And many last minute adjustments such as uh, soldering or making the floor even. All in all, a big challenge. We were utterly delighted that Dry Doddington Church was going to host this Codex exhibition and that you've taken up the theme of St James and the tradition of the pilgrimage to Santiago de Compostela. What we're trying to achieve is to bring um, more and new audiences into these churches but also inspire the people who are going to these churches all the time. You really made the most of the church building. You could approach it from all directions which struck me as a, a remarkable thing. Most churches have a wall or a fence, something around them that stops people coming in and this open approachability was one of the inspirations for the idea of a pilgrimage which is also connected to St James and the particular pilgrimage to Santiago de Compostela. When you go in and you you've got to use all your senses and it makes you it makes you think in a different way to the way you think from normal day-to-day -day life. We use the symbolism of the shell because St James is connected to this idea of the scallop shell. We were really moved to see the pearls and think that that's each of us on our pilgrimage, to see the interaction with the shells, uh, what happens when we change direction in our lives as the pearls change directions when they hit the shell. Having been to Santiago de Compostela, then the shells just moved me. I think it was um, really clever how they did the um, little stones falling off. I don't know how the rocks fall down. <laughs> don't know how the rocks <laughs> fall down, he said. And I like the interactive bits too. It works on lots of different levels, yeah. actually. You know, but that, that, the musicality of it is quite, it's quite uplifting. Yeah. This is a codex in the sense of it being a manual for life, but there is also another codex involved. The Codex Calixtinus is the first time that polyphonic chants were uh, recorded uh, on paper, were written on paper. So this inspired us for creating some of the musical uh, elements of the piece. You could actually make your own music. Creating um, your own musical 
accompaniment to what was going on. It was a great experience. It was wonderful. There are two things in Codex. One is this very big sculpture, this raining down cascade, this musical cascade, which is a loop melody. The other element is interactive. The interaction is made out of five shells that are uh, positioned on the floor. The audience is invited to step on them. And as they press on the shells, they create a Gregorian choral sound. What's really nice is that every time uh, a different combination of people stand on it, we get something completely unique. Bruno wrote a beautiful piece, a choral piece, for the local bell ringers for the private view on the first day. And they came and played uh, this wonderful composition. We did a few rehearsals before and, um, and we performed this five minutes piece. What we trying to do with, with the discope, um, I think, is a um, is celebration of motion. Um, everything's in motion, life's in motion. The atoms are vibrating, the waves are moving, there's a constant evolution. And so we celebrate motion in different ways. A lot of digital work is screen-based, but there's so much more to the digital than screen. So to see something that's immersive, environmental, and you're all the time involved in it and trying to figure it out, it yeah. really, really did draw me in. It brings a beauty into your life that perhaps you've not noticed before, in sound and sight. Um, it's quite magical, really. It would certainly leave a, a very interesting sort of memory afterwards. You, you feel quite a good atmosphere. Yeah. Thumbs up. <laughs> it was great. It's something I'll never forget, something that a lot of people will never forget. Um, and I suppose when it's all gone, as we walk through the door again at St James's, the echoes and the imagery will, will always be there for all of us.